caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Let that him that hath understanding, understanding reckon the count number of the, beast. the number of the beast. For it, For is, it the is the number of a man. man. 666. History is at a turning point. It changes you if you take a genetic editing. Uh, just as an example. We realize that humans are now hackable animals. We agreed to be surveyed all, the, all the time. Started going under the skin. And most humans will become economically useless and politically Already powerful. today, we are beginning to see the creation of a new class of humans, the useless class. The FBI is warning for the first time that French conspiracy theories are feeding domestic terrorism. A bizarre claim. The Clinton family was behind a Tucson site where children were being raped. Clinton friends are chopping themselves up, putting themselves in duffel bags, and now blowing and now blasting themselves apart with a shotgun and then hanging themselves from a tree. The Colorado Commission, the Colorado Council on Foreign Relations, they hear Well, let's face it, they've dominated the State Department for 40 years. But you are looking at a group that has worked to bring about a dissolution of national politics on the road to world government. You are the symptom of a dying society. And you know it. Scary children don't believe that um, I, I should be seeing signs uh, advertising for children to be dancing on stage with men in songs and in inappropriate clothing and makeup. I was in a topless bar. And Joe Rogan and I used to go to them all the time decades ago. I name drop and that's just what I have to go with. And I guarantee you, if I was in a topless bar and I saw them march a five-year-old girl up on stage and people start giving them money, I'd call the police and I'd stand up and say this is wrong and if some bouncer got in my face, I'm not calling for violence. I'm telling you what would happen. That bouncer would get their jaw broken. Welcome to war mode. Just like that. For myself, you just have to go off of the feeling like when you see the owl. How does the owl make you feel on the inside? Because it deals with changes, you know? And people will probably will tell you, you know, it's a bad omen, you gonna die or something like that. Nah, nigga, you is about to grow or something. Something in your life is about to change, so. What would I have done? Yeah. I would have done a legitimate, a legitimate investigation to find out what exactly happened on 9-11. How did they know who did this so quickly like they did Lee Harvey Oswald? Who's going to investigate the investigators? Who's going to investigate the prosecutors? Who's going to hold them accountable? Who's going to hold us public officials accountable? And that's all we're trying to do here, among trying to, in, in addition to trying to find the truth. Do you honestly and truly in your heart believe that Sandy Hook actually happened? Yes or no? Oh. All right, number two. And I'm going to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. We can give you the jail. Secretary Clinton. It's only just begun. I can't hear anything. Oh, now I can. Yeah, yeah, we're good now. I can hear it now. Let me assume my position real quick. Ugh. Too cold in here? It's pretty fucking cold, honestly. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I still have it on chain levels. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, this is fucking kingly AC, bro. You get someone fucking tired with this. Yeah, I fucking... Uh, I, the weird thing is, last week, like, destroyed. Last weekend, destroyed. Sunday, woke up, read the Kabbalion, semi-destroyed. When you say destroyed, you mean depressed. Depressed? Sad. Soul-sucking depression. Uh, but I'm, this is the first time it's ever happened to me. Like, I've never gotten this sad before. No, you're not a sad boy gay. I, I, I was literally confused as fuck. Like, di like <laughs> in my head, like, this, this is, is gay, I feel like this. Yeah, dude. It sucks. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Give me some fucking drugs. 
Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, you had, you never got you never got dumped, really, right? No, yeah, that's what I'm you saying. Never like, had hey, like mega sads. Th- I'm yeah. not I'm not going into the table of titans on who's the yeah, saddest. Yeah, no, but I'm not. Yeah, the, dude, it's not a competition. It's not a competition. I'll just say. Usually, I am. You've had a charmed life. Yes, you, and usually I'm. There was a point last week where I couldn't even think of the future. Uh, welcome to my world, bro. Yeah, well, usually I'm like pumped th- up. I, I'm coming to the realization that this is why the geezers just think of the past. Yeah, <laughs> the future's not good. That was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all that was there. I was, yeah, I was just literally st- not, stuck in the present in the worst way. Like I didn't want to think about the past, didn't want to think about the future, and then I was just zimmed in the middle. Yeah, yeah, it was fucking insane. And now I'm here, almost back to normal. I had I went to the gym on. Uh, Monday, I'll go back tomorrow, but Jesus Christ, what a bitch I was. I don't think you're a bitch, man. I mean, I don't think it's that, I I, you know it's that big I, of a deal, dude. This you know, is just life, man. I know, but usually it's just like, dude, the, behind, once the mics go off, dude, there's so much that goes on in my life I don't even want to get into. <laughs> Bro, can you turn your <laughs> microphone down? Like, yeah. you're you on my thing down? You on my thing down. Yeah. You're too loud in my ears. Okay. Better. Yeah, that's good. All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh and that I like dude, my YouTube algorithm, like I can't hit tunes right now. Like usually tunes will get me out of anything. But the one thing I just realized today, and I was like, dude, I'm going to sleep like every time I get home, I'm passing on the couch. Haven't drank coffee since last Tuesday. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> this is like fucking Okay, bud. You did this before, didn't you? Didn't you just do this? I tried to get off coffee, yeah. How'd you make out? I can't remember anything, so I'm good. Yeah. I live in the present, dude. I, I have no memories. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's time for a little fucking little shot after give, like getting off it. Because I did have the dream last night. I drank a bang energy drink. Not that this podcast is sponsored by anything. Maybe the astral realm is telling you you need some, con- some caffeine. Yeah, I've just been going 12 ounce in the morning decaf. Yeah, okay, dude. Just to get a little sip. Yeah, well, I mean, that that's a mood adjuster. Yeah, good point. You know what I mean? That, I was thinking about smoking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but then I was like, ah, fuck that. I'll get me sick. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I'm not going to smoke, dude. <laughs> just something I was Dude, I took- There's really just not much going on up there. To, there was too much to the <laughs> point where, like, every fucking thought was to the end. I was like, Jordan Peterson, if you lowered his IQ to 70, but he still tried to get to the end of every one of his yeah, thoughts. Yeah, which I'm I'm afraid that's what's going on right now. <laughs> yeah, that that's what happened all last week, and I was just like, whoa, this fucking blows. Yeah. But that's neither here nor there. We're back on the saddle. The uh, Did you see fucking Nancy Pelosi's husband? I've seen nothing. You got to show me. Is this, he got a DUI. I know that. That's all I know. Bro, he got out of a DUI. Okay. Literally got out of a DUI. They were dropping the charges. Was it fake news that he has been in a former DUI? Has been in a former DUI? I don't know. I know that he has killed his brother in a fucking car <laughs> when he was 19. I don't know if he was drunk or not. He was going on a yeah. joyride in the 60s. Good chance. Huge chance he was drunk. <laughs> and his brother, who fucking died, had a neck brace on, and they think that killed him. You never know what to believe these days. I mean, in 1965, a joyride is drinking and driving. Yeah, dude. But supposedly he went to Malvern. A preparatory school near us. It's very expensive. Yeah, but that, like this hat, like he killed his bro in a uh, California sounding place. Okay. So who the fuck knows? Those cars were bodied back then, though. If you got a crash in those cars, you just remember the Titans. You're yeah, done. you're in a soda can. That fucking blows. But yeah, he flipped the fucking whip, killed his brother, and he's just out drinking and driving. Probably because he killed his brother. So can't really fucking fault the man. But they, they just get, like, I thought it was physically impossible to get out of that. Yeah, I mean, I've heard, you know, Swim has heard. Yeah. People get get out of jail free cards from local townships. And what they've told them, what the police chiefs told them is, this will get you out of anything but a DUI. And, I mean, dude, obviously that's going to look bad. Like, if you get this dude out of a DUI, that's going to look bad. But you've done enough insider trading where Uber a little bit. Like, Uber for uh, my my. Buddy of mine just got one. He's got two months he's looking at. Mm. Like, you can't Uber for two months. Well, and just two months of trip. no license or two months of jail? No license. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, like, that's pretty good. Like, I, just for, like, headline's sake, I would take the DUI and just be like, whatever. Yeah, I mean, now that Ubers exist. And he's 80, bro. 
Yeah, I mean that's pretty much just that's like being insane. drunk anyway. That's like this guy shouldn't have licenses. That's every Thanksgiving dinner. One of these dudes happen. Oh, and big he's time, probably yeah. doing it every day after golfing. Yeah, I mean, I've seen this. It's, I'm it's, not gonna say who, but I've seen this. I've seen boomers drink to the point of like, "Yo, man, you sure you're good?" And yeah. then they're like, "Ah, fuck it, I'm good." I'm like, dude, you're n- you're drunk as fuck. You're pretty much blacked out. They're yeah. browned out driving home. Just in general. Because, dude, they're used to slamming beers. And, like, scotch and shit, bro. They're, like, mad men stuff. Well, I've not, I've never been around that, but I've I've seen a bunch of dudes that are used to slamming beers and then go to fucking um, PJ Wellahan's and slam craft beers. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking... <laughs> and might as well be on <laughs> Yeah. Like, they're blood not, pressure through the roof. They're not built for this, shit. dude. You know what I mean? They, I mean, honest to God... They don't really, it's, it's crazy that they sit there and the cops, like, if they get you for it, they're like, dude, I got to do this. It's like, if you had to do this, you'd yeah. be sitting outside of country clubs. If you had to get drunk drivers off of the fucking road, you'd sit outside any country club in the area and yeah. you'd get them every fucking night. Yeah, man. A lot of those boomers too, like the guys that are in their seventies and eighties, like they grew up with Budweiser's and ham and cheese sandwiches and you can't be hitting them with this craft beer, elegant grub shit, dude. Like, oh, they're, they're, no. they're, they're all bloated. They're drunk as fuck. It, it, it must be insane. Like, I don't know how, like, that's my one, like, good thought about longevity is, like, I'm looking at some of my uncles that ripped ham and cheese, cheese sandwiches. Yeah. No water ever. Milk or ginger ale. Yeah. And it's like, dude, they're they're doing okay. They had a good first half, though, with the microplastics and yeah, the carcinogens. Without, without all that. Yeah. Good point. So you've been pretty much, you know, your taint small. Tell you what, dude. Without being on sea doors, that's a that's a fucking game changer. You can feel it. I I'm all, I I'm not even trying to fucking lose weight. I'm just on my last notch in my SDI belt. You get on a scale yet? I never hopped on a scale. It's right there, man. Don't be scared. I'll step on it after the cast. I'm not. You can scared. hit pause and step on it right now. Okay, hold on. <laughs> now here's what I'm talking. Now this is what I'm talking about. Two ten. <laughs> now this is what I'm talking about. There was a chance a couple we months, the same a couple months ago where I was very close to you, dude. Fucking how? Bro. Like, how am I this dense? I'm not fucking with I, you. On a molecular level, I think my atoms are heavy. I think you're existing in two different dimensions. In the, like, you know, if they're like in the universe, you could be doing the same thing in a different seat and there's a million versions. I think two of them have lined up. <laughs> And now that you're just weighing in you're for just two. two dudes yeah. doing somehow. I have an extra soul. You doubled infinity in the universe, and now you're just double. Crazy. That was crazy because, I, dude, I've been. Now you're saying that's heavier light for you. L, dude. I'm depressed. That's light. That's light. Okay. I I haven't weighed two ten. Like L stands for love. L stands <laughs> for everything. It stands for lesbians too. <laughs> Happy Pride Month. But, yeah, I fucking cool, I mean, I guess, because I don't want to be fucking huge. I don't want to get fat as shit. I've been called fat. Man, that's what I'm saying, like 210. Like, there's a chance maybe like four Dude, or five months ago. I was I was two. That picture I put up on the uh, Matt and Shane's Reddit that one time. Yeah. I was at least 225 to 228. Wow, bro. I'm getting semi-shredded. And, that's and people were I'm... trying to tell me that that scale was coming in hot, coming in heavy. I'm, Do you that, remember, like, when I stepped on it, you're like, oh, dude, it's telling you it's it's too high. It's like I'm 210 and I'm fucking dumbbell pressing 110 dumbbells. It, what the fuck? How's and that, I'm depressed. How's that even a thing? That is fucking tizing me right now. Yeah, man. You didn't fucking... I haven't tinkered with that whatsoever. You didn't jimmy that thing nah, for yourself? Jimmy, bro. You're telling me you're down I to 160? If I said, I'm 173 right now. I gained, I gained a couple pounds. That surprised the shit out of me that I'm 210 pounds. Yeah, I've dude. been 225 for years. It's over, bro. Seed oils. I mean, dude, legitimately seed oils. Not eating French guys all the time. All that shit is out. Dude, I had a weird craving last night for Irish French fries. What are those? You get like malt vinegar and, you, and yeah, then you put yeah. the ketchup on it. I, it was crazy. I just thought of it for a second and then I was like, I could taste it in my mouth. I was like, fuck. I mean, dude, people come here for blazing hot takes. <laughs> <laughs> I love French fries. <laughs> tell me about the tell me about the incoming famine, Bill. Well, <laughs> speaking of French fries, nice nice flow. Uh, there's been a fuck ton of fires at food processing plants, and I watch this pussy ass dude on 
Rumble. Rumble and Bitch Shoot suck so much dick it makes me want to kill shoot's myself. Tough. Bitch, bitch Shoot tough. sucks. Yeah. Rumble sucks. They're t- they suck on mobile. I think maybe if you have a I don't know. I'm just saying the people on it. Oh well, I thought you meant like the thing. I try to that's kind of dick. It's not it. It's not dick. It's not dick because Okay. Remember when Dave Portnoy went up against those fucking douchebags? Oh, dude, you remember when we got to the bottom of that? That was fun. We talked about that, didn't we? On the podcast? I don't think so. The dudes he went up against were, what's that shit called? You'll have to give me a second. You'll put me on, yeah. Yeah, remember We'll get, we'll get to this. But I think, like, how he went up against those Democrat, like, ran podcasts, whatever the fuck they were called. Those Midas Touch? Midas Touch, yeah. They have Republican versions of Midas Touch. But the ones that I don't like where it's like, they're not trying to hear the shit I'm putting down. They're not trying to pick that up. They're like, oh, you're wrong. That, that's a conspiracy. Because the first video I watched was this dude debunking how there's not that many. And this dude's like, oh, it's not a big deal. Like, It's actually the FBI came out with a warning and hackers can do it. So it may be Russian hackers. They're Bro. saying on BitChute that Russian hackers are burning down. On Rumble, they're saying farm that facilities. Farm facilities have to be careful because hackers can get in and fucking fuck with their equipment and fucking auger up or whatever and light them up on fire. Oh right, that shit. Okay. So internet a, of thing stuff. Fuck, because they want you to upgrade everything, get rid of all your humans. But once you do that, you can go on Wi-Fi, fuck up a whole thing. That's besides the point. These places are getting fucking Cessnas flown into them. Like, airplanes are fucking flying into these things. Lighting up on fire. A train derails full of tater tots. Speaking of french fries. A a train, dude, derails. Catches the place on fire. I've seen a lot of fucking trains, and it was a fucking train full of tater tots. That shit's not catching on fire. There's nothing on that fucking train that is going to catch on fire. Things are miles. They're frozen too, right? I have no idea. It's fucking metal. No, I'm saying the tater tots. Yeah. I would assume I would assume you keep them frozen because I wouldn't want to eat moldy tater tots. Yeah. Personally, I don't eat tater tots because I'm 210 pounds. I'm not a fat piece of shit, and I fucking oh, air okay. fry potatoes. <laughs> there we go. Now he's on his throne. Okay. Yeah. The. Uh, but like, dude, they're saying like the I I don't know if it was General Mills or Purdue. It was the the train that fell over and lit it up. So they're lighting up like this. The the Republican fucking talking point pussy was also his logo for his thing was yeah. a sun and the sun was the pedo sw- swirl whatever whatever we don't even have to get into the symbolisms yeah so there i'm go i'm looking into it and like the fbi comes out says it might be fucking hackers but in the last three months i think there's been more fucking fu- like fires at food processing plants than there has been in the last decade that's what i was going to ask you if this is a normal thing that's what and I was just looking. getting more play on the news, you know? Not, I mean, dude, these things are lighting up for no reason. And then you fucking go back and think to the beginning of the pandemic when fucking Bill Gates is buying up all that farmland. Mm-hmm. Not only Bill Gates, a bunch of Chinese fucks. Yeah, man. Like, they went ham as fuck and bought up all that shit. Yeah, they've been planning a famine for at least two years. Yeah, and, like, dude, it, like it's pretty big shit. If you're hitting GM and fucking Purdue, like, those places aren't lighting up like that. I don't give a fuck who you are. Really, they have security. It's all happening at night, too. Yeah. Almost every single one of these things have happened at night. Inside job, if you ask me. Yeah, I mean, dude, hopefully they don't catch on fire too hard because they can collapse. Especially Because they're, they're made, made of, of metal. metal. <laughs> yes, especially <laughs> if they're made of metal. Because they're made of metal. They could bend and collapse. But, yeah, watching that, it was not making me feel too good in my stomach that all this shit's going on, and it's just, like, nonstop, like, they're actually talk. They're like talking it into fucking reality that there's gonna be famines for that no fucking reason. They did this with a with a cold, literally. You know what I mean? Like this is gonna be their thing. This is gonna be their thing until 2030 at least. Dude, yeah, 2030 is not looking good. None of this shit's looking good. Like the way yeah. this shit's going down, like all the oil shit supposedly is going up, and it's not from like all the oil shit is just. The refineries, Talking about the prices. The refineries are charging more money. Yeah. And they say, get a fucking electric car. I read an article about an electric car. A Tesla. A dude went on a fucking road trip with a Tesla. Yeah. Four nights. He said, I saved $100 on that road trip, but he spent more time charging it than he did sleeping. These things are fucked. Like, these things are just made so Very they can time fucking, commitment, yeah. Just so they can shut you down. 
Like, all this fucking tech and shit, if they can make fires happen out of fucking nowhere in a food processing plant, why would you want to fucking spend a mortgage on a car? Like, you might as well just get fucking an old whip, dude, and keep it nice. Well, I mean, if gas... People are going to be paycheck to... Everyone... I think what's going to happen is they're going to take everyone down to paycheck or to paycheck. I just got and, out of that. <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, even the upper middle classers. We're all in this together? They're going to they're gonna start being like, this is ridiculous. I don't have any money. And then they're going to try to roll in, like, a UBI based on your social credit score, your vaccine passport. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, I mean, that just... That, that you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna have to enter their system. They're gonna chip you. You're yeah. gonna enter your system, enter their system, and then they'll give you food. I fully. And if you want to be outside the system, I feel like they're gonna be like, do whatever you want. Yeah. Because just... we're going, we're kind of breaking away. Because if you listen to this Klaus Schwab shit, dude, they're on another one. They're on a mad one, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? Like they're just talking about like a future where people are getting hacked. In their DNA, That's, like that, like that Yoel no, Noel Harari guy or whatever is talking about how we are surpassing God because God only made organic stuff, and humans are about to make things that are not organic. Brother, so it, not I only read the Kabbalah on <laughs> Sunday morning, read it. Not only do they think that they can clone people, which they probably just do all the time. There's definitely they clones. probably have clones all the time in the in the DUMBs, but. Yeah. They they're talking about rolling out like silicone based artificial intelligence, and he's claiming that that at that point we surpass God. How? I don't even know, dude. What I mean, what kind? I mean, of, what God? What kind you of know? crazy shit do you got to be on to think that you surpass the dude who did this? Exactly. Because you put up some silicone bots that can get your fucking food, bro. Yeah, I'm telling you. Make a planet. It, it's it make existence. It's crazy that they're this brazen. It's like they've learned nothing from the ancient myths. I don't think they're reading ancient myths, dude. And dude, like the fucking wild shit about all the elites. A thing just came out. What the fuck? I think earlier this week in Europe, twenty two hundred of them, just like elite rich fucks, like heads of pharma companies, all this shit, all got saline injections, didn't get the real fucking COVID shot. And they paid the registry thousands of dollars to put them on as And this, like, vaccine. came out? Like, someone yes. investigated that? This That's just right. came out. Meanwhile, Bilderberg's here. Meanwhile, a fucking chick who ran a vaccine safety website just got axed. This chick, Brandy Vaughn, just got fucking killed. Oh, she got killed. She got killed, but in 2019, she put up a whole fucking thing like, if I die, just know that it was from foul play. I don't want to kill myself. I don't have depression. None of that shit. Same here. Same here anymore. <laughs> After this podcast, no, I, damn it. I want to. You're even in a better mood. Yeah, the uh, yeah, she just got iced. Not only did she get iced, and remind you, I just been reading, doing the normal. I can't watch fucking YouTube right now. The fucking president of Haiti got killed because he was on. He didn't want to go vaccine. President of Madagascar got killed because he didn't want to put in the vaccines. And one more person, I can't remember who it was. All three of those dudes got iced because they don't want to put this shit in their citizens. Yeah, right. Something's up. I mean, it's over. For now. But I mean, like, they, they, they lost. I would say they lost. Yeah, it you is. You know what I mean? This round, I would say, hey, dude. Well, they, yeah, they won. They got a lot of people. Yeah, they won. Financially, they, they made a fortune, all this. They admitted it during the Davos. Did they really? Yeah, they admitted it was a big moneymaker. Nice, but nice. um yeah, thanks guys. Legendary. But I don't think it had the control. I don't think enough people bought into it. Yeah, it, it seems like it was literally like the amount of people who you think of would have went along with it. And a lot of the people that went along with it, they went along this time. Yes. Next time, Might I not have think the there's girlfriend. a lot of people that were that just kind of got it, not thinking yeah. it was a big deal. Then they see some side effects go down, and then they're like, I'm never doing that shit again. And sitting there, fingers crossed, thank God, nothing, knock on wood, nothing happened to me this time. Yeah. I, there's, I you mean, know what I mean? It's responsible for a lot of break, breakups and stuff like that. And I know a man who's broken up recently, and he won't get it anymore because he doesn't have a girlfriend anymore. Damn, like that was the reason they broke up? No, no, it wasn't the reason, but he was getting real, because he listens to the cast, 
And he was getting like real pissed because like she was being a bitch. To you have a woman in your life. I would not recommend that. <laughs> yeah, she was being a fucking bitch. Like you got to get the booster. Fuck all this shit. And he's like, dude, I got the regular one. I don't want to fucking get the booster. Yeah. And it was like every day again. If I came home to that, dude, I <laughs> never hit a woman. <laughs> it's like you're like, if I came home to that, I'm like, oh, and what, dude? <laughs> I would never hit a woman. Yeah, yeah, sure. But I would tell her. You'd psychologically terrorize her. I mean, you know, go up a size of those pants a little tight, aren't they? Just little stuff like that. Yeah, you look fat in those shorts. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't believe it. Also, I mean, my friend group is just not having luck. My buddy was out on a date last night, got fucking pepper sprayed and hit by two black chicks and a black kid. I mean, what did he do? He was walking in Old City at 930 at night. They, they did it to multiple people. They oh. just rolled up to him, pepper sprayed him, and, beat him, and tried to beat him up and take his shit. Cool, man, cool. It's, fun. it's literally insane. All, all for the culture. Yeah. <laughs> he told me that. I was like, damn, dude, that sucks, man. Hopefully it'll become racist or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> that would suck for the betterment of society. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway. the uh, I I think, was I talking to you this week about it? Where you were saying, like, I think that food will be the one that puts people on their knees. Or it might have just been listening to Jones, honestly. Probably, yeah. Yeah, it, it literally seems like they... Big, com- big compliment, you can't even remember. If it's me or Jones, I big compliment, dude. bro. We got a lot of parallel <laughs> thinking. Yeah, he was he was saying, like, the whole 2030 agenda and shit, like, they rolled this shit out to see who they got on their side, and then it's, like, fucking famines. These people are already worshipping the fucking government as, like, their ruler and, like, the Harari fucking freaks that think they're God. Now all they have to do is starve these people out and the good old boys who already got the vaccine get it and the strong alphas who weigh 210 or 160, they don't... 173. They yeah, get even skinnier. If you get uh, if you get on that Davos thing, man, they're on another planet. Like this, Klaus Schwab... The way that they're talking about climate change, uh, financing net zero, like future green technology... Two minions, too. Yeah, like f- <laughs> future green technologies, like dudes that have never turned a wrench in their lives. Like your carbon footprint's like, pretty small. Very small. What's dude. an Astro putting out a year? I literally drive from here to the center city. <laughs> like your carbon yeah. footprint is like borderline goat. I'm good, yeah. You, you fly rarely? These guys are, you know, the hypocrisy is unreal. But what I'm saying is like they... Imagine if that was Trump's kids. For real. The, <laughs> <laughs> the whole... Uh, the whole agenda they have going on is not even based. It's so far out of the realm of reality, unless they live in another reality that we don't know about. So, like, unless they've kept the dangers from us. Are you in my for, brain last week. What? Are you in my brain last week, bro. No, but you hear what I'm saying. Right? I, I'm yeah. Fully aware. So, bro. unless they've been like keeping the fucking ice caps melting from us. Yeah. You know, but they really are. But you just can't tell because you're a minion. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, unless shit is really bad. They're like, the way that they talk, dude, it's like the world's going to end tomorrow. Everybody needs, everybody in India and China need to start living like us first worlders. We have to go down to their level. It makes no sense. We all have to be vaxxed and tracked. The tracking shit's unreal. What do you mean? Like the way that they want to chip us and track us and track our behaviors. Why do they say they they want want surveillance under the skin? This is what Yoel's new shit is. They want to monitor the, like, There was a bunch of money. I wish there were some brave Palestinians out there. There was a bunch of money at the start in monitoring who you talk to, what you look at. Yeah. And there's money for ads to try to sell you things. Yeah. That money's been made. That There's no more oil. They've hit peak oil on that. Yeah, stop hitting with cake.com ads. Plus yeah, pe- <laughs> pe- people are done with that, right? They're, you know, the, the next step of, of this is biological. And, dude, this is not... And he's up on stage. This is out in the open, man. This is not a conspiracy yeah, theory. It's not something you're drumming up. I mean, it's not a theory. It's a conspiracy. These guys are openly conspiring to do this to an unwilling population. Yeah. They're literally. admitting that because we, they're saying that because we say, yes, I agree to terms of service for things, that we're agreeing to surveillance. Now, you know, you know, everybody's just clicking that so they can use whatever the fuck app. I mean, South Park did this already. I hear you, man. South Park's <laughs> ahead of the curve. But they're up, they're up on Davos saying that they're, you're going to do the same thing for your biology because when you go to the doctor, they're going to give you a terms and service for your own shell. You're going to say yes. Dude, they already did this. You're going to take the shit. Yeah, that, that's what it is. That whole vaccine thing when you <clears throat> went and took it and signed, you signed away everything. You're just like, yeah, whatever. I'm, I can't sue. I'm just fucked. They're up on stage now admitting that it does change your DNA. 
dude, I it is don't a genetic, fuck with that. It is a genetic mutation. Imagine if they change. I mean, we're. I mean, dude, if you want to talk about gods and Lee and Elke or whatever, what? ancient Sumerians, this is what they did. You if know what you, I mean? Uh, you become a great. This is how they made us. That I mean, that would be fucking. I don't want my DNA like more modified than it's already getting by whatever the fuck I'm doing to myself. Yeah, man. And like sleeping next to my fucking phone. Unless they know something's coming down the pike where everyone's going to have to have this. And they don't want to come they're out and say They're not trying it. to save us, bro. I know that they're not. I know. I'm yeah. I'm telling you, man. I'm trying to if put... If you were Klaus Schwab. I'm not... Not if I'm Klaus Schwab. But, like, say I'm one of these dudes that has a girlfriend and I'm listening to her instead yeah. of thinking for myself. Yeah. And I'm like... Instead of being an alpha. I'm like, these guys are... Uh, these guys are good. She said... My girlfriend... Is all about this stuff. There's so much you know, peace it's like, and calmness in that. In my head, I'm like, how could they be? They're literally talking about changing your DNA, and how could that be good? That's where I'm confused. And and talking about terms and services of your own body. There, it's like if you went in and you opened up someone's brand, like someone. If you went up to someone, it's like that's a nice MacBook. I think I can fuck with it a little bit. Will you let me? Yeah. It's like, have you tried this on anyone? No, we skipped all the testing, but I think I can make it better. Yeah, can but what I'm me? trying to say is, like, with the terms of service thing is, they're going to get you, it's not going to be like a thing like you're going to be on your knees. It's going to be a thing like, fuck, I have to agree to this. Yeah, I mean. Or what? I'm not going to be able to do X, Y, and Z. So it's going to be like, I go to the dot, like, my knee's fucked up. Yeah. I go to the doctor, it's like, hey, man, you want, you want to get any of these services, here you go. Now you're. It's a very litigious society. As now the is. real money is going to be in surveillance under the skin, is what he's calling it. Is like monitoring your bio biometrics. And that and makes then they're that's gonna, heaven for insurance companies. They're going to. Yep, they're going to hack that. That money. <laughs> that's the real money. That's going to end Leeches, health insurance. That's going to end health insurance. That's going to end payouts. That's going to end a ton of shit, dude. They probably got a timer in there. Like pre-existing conditions is the one thing they've been trying to get rid of forever. That's why I took my Apple Watch off. Why? Oh, because they're monitoring all it. All the heartbeat, like all the wearables and shit, dude, yeah. blow me. I don't give a fuck what my heartbeat is. Yeah, man. Shit's 69 for all you fucking care, pussy. <laughs> the good, that would be a good heart rate. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Maybe I'm 69 now. I'm 220 or 210. Yeah, But I, you get what I'm saying? Like how scary that is? It's fucking, hold on. It's as scary as it can get. Once they start trying to get in your body, dude, like if you want to fucking. So wait, if you're hungry. And they're making you sick with whatever food they're, they're, you're going to end up getting. They do it the pals. And then time, right? when you go to the doctor, now you got these new. Now you're now the hospital is a different story. Now you got goop. Yeah, and they've you know, I would say what happened to the hospital staff was a form of mind control. What do you, you know mean? what I mean? Like that was like a test. I would say like what happened to the hospital staff over COVID was like a form of like trauma based mind control. Yeah. That's, they're I mean, they're shell shocked as fuck. It's insane. You know what I mean? Because like, dude, it's especially like what they did to him, and like, obviously, I was a frontline worker too, but no one really fucking popped pans for me. But I champion frontline workers. I'm with you. I champion them. They're cool. But to cheer them on like that, and be like, you are the fucking heroes, and then a year later turn around and be like, fucking beat it. If you're not getting this vaccine, <laughs> yeah, fuck you. I don't care that you just that's, saved my two year old that almost died. That's the trauma and that's the the control. That's pure confusion. You know what I mean? And I mean you got you got real ones that are like holding their ground, but like dude, the amount of the amount of people deterred who were who could have been great lifetime nurses who didn't even try, like who were in college were like, fuck this. Like I'm not gonna get into all that oh, shit. Oh yeah. Wow, yeah. that's a real forward thought. Hey man, I think about the future now. I'm back. Yeah. But yeah, the fucking the amount of people that deterred good fucking people who were like, I can either be in sales. Yeah, we lost a generation of scrubs. Literally. Love you. And fucking, they could either be in scrubs, be fucking good, helping functioning members of society, or you're just going to be in sales. Sales or whatever fucking fake job you want to do. You go do that then find a fucking dude who will tolerate you. And then you can go out and get married and you won't have to work again. Instead... All those nurses are gone because they try to get you the jab. Literally doesn't and make sense. And we love them. It, it doesn't make sense that they did that. Yeah. To fuck with, like, I'm not into fucking with people's head. I don't like fucking psyops. 
especially work psyops. It pissed me the fuck off. <laughs> I don't like that shit right. at all. And for them to turn around and do that shit, uh, hilarious, laughing at them for the TikTok dances. But I can't blame them because the hospitals were fucking empty when the world said they were at max capacity. That's a psyop, brother. It's fucking insane. Yeah. It's th- this shit is as crazy as all that nine eleven shit we watched last weekend. That is equally as insane. But now I'm just seeing this in real time. Like this is so insane and so fake. I cannot wait till all the fucking death numbers come out three years from now when you can compare all the heart rates that went, all the heart deaths that went away, all the cancers that went away. It'll be so insane. And by that point, it'll be twenty thirty. And you won't be listening to us anymore because yeah. we won't be around. <laughs> yeah, it does seem to me like they they are looking. They need human subjects to test this hackable theory of humans because they're on a quest for immortality. Absolutely, because they, you know, they might they might know. That Imagine be, being in that much control. They might know based on their reptilian genetics that there isn't an after for them. You yeah, know what I mean? Point. They might want to stay here. Or it might not. It just might not be good. Where you're, they might like, just be descendants of someone else. Yeah, if you're out there you know? doing the fucking naughty and shit like that, you may be like, All right, maybe I don't want to talk to that guy once I'm done here. Yeah, maybe I don't want to square up. Yeah, it it is weird. Like I'm gonna go. You owe me, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah. The um, the way they like they're literally just gonna experiment on the plebes and be like, oh, we're helping you, and like your insurance will be cheaper. It's like, dude, all this. Yeah, shit's- I think they're trying to cure cancer with mRNA. And that is like what that shit was for. Yeah. And that's what the, they're that's where they're headed, but they would never would have hit human trials. Now they have their human trial. That's th- that's their first trial. And they're probably gonna do like designer vaccines. All that shit. Yeah. I mean it's it's go like we're tripping out on Might be might be fake too, which would be hilarious. That I mean that's my if I'm designer vaccines money, that are fake is some of the best shit that I can think of. If I'm making money, dude, <laughs> And I said this since day yeah. one. I'm making up COVID. I'm making up designer vaccines, but you need this. Oh, yeah. Because you get one of those fucking psychos to do it. You see them all Botox the fuck up, looking yeah, like, like they're in Minecraft. Vaccines, you know, that it's another thing why they want to change it from calling them vaccines to genetic. What do they call them? Gene, gene therapy. therapies. Yeah. Uh, what do you call it? Like having a designer gene therapy. It, it's fucking crazy. And you tell me I hit 5'9", bro. I might take that shot. Oh, you would give up your DNA just for a few more inches. I right, think about it. Swear to God, think about it a couple times. <laughs> Five nine, you would fuck with your DNA. How how big do you think they could get me? Damn, dude, they got you good. They got <laughs> they hurt me, bro. You're a chick. You have they Botox hurt me, man. Right now. <laughs> they hurt me, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, you see what the fuck they're doing to these chicks and all their the the faces that are getting destroyed from fucking Botox. Yeah. Like, we were talking about this this week. The designer vaccines are just next to R.I.P. Michaela Peterson. That was insane. It's insane. <laughs> She's a beautiful woman. She fucked with her face like that. I, I really don't get that. I think it's society. I mean, the comments do that. Still, dude, like, you know there's so many. If there was, like, if we released this podcast in every fucking week. Yeah, I just wish they all knew that they were angels. And that Dude, God made them the perfect. Would you give a fuck about a single comment if there was 25 chicks that were hitting you up at the end of every podcast? Like, legend, I love you. I love your dad, too. Human chicks or chicks from the fairy realm? Human chicks. I might think about it. I don't think you'd fuck with your face. No, I'm holding out for a nighttime wife. Yeah, well, we get into that in a second. <laughs> Calm down. Not, not, We're getting too close to nighttime to talk about that shit. Yeah, but... Whatever, I, I definitely think that they're just experimenting on the fucking plebes to push push all their fucking shit through. Like, there's no way they're going to get that. Re- like, that makes complete sense. 2,200 elites all have fucking saline injections. Obviously, dude. Yeah, man, no shit. Shit's bad <laughs> Could have told you. you guys that. <laughs> it's legit bad for you if people are dying of heart attacks that are my age. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. And then they're like, ah, oh, we fucked that one up. But all of their kids are going to be absolutely fine. None of like... The other thing that I'm fucked up over is I think the 5G is starting to roll out. Okay. I, I'm just saying I think it's starting to roll out. And I, everyone always forgets about that because all the fucked up shit that's happened. But for some reason, I think 5G is really starting to roll out. And you're just seeing a lot of people doing 5G work? I'm seeing that and I just I have a fucking feeling in the pit of my fucking stomach. You think with your gut. Something's fucked up. Yeah. 
I just I don't know what it is. I'm just fucking reminding everyone that 5G exists. People fucking laugh at that all the time. But the shit is like you shouldn't have like the blue parrot is bad for you. I thought about it all week long. How? EMFs, dude, right on your fucking dome. So it's bad for your head. Okay, man. Hey, so dude, you you gave it to me. I didn't you gave know. it to me. And said, hey, yo, it's bad. Talk to me every day, dude. I didn't know. Uh, there's when there's, my tumor comes in. Will you apologize? I've had it longer than you. Will you will you apologize? Yeah, I'll be fucking sad as shit. I didn't right. mean to, but right. yeah, like there those Zuckerberg's kids, like all those fuckers. None of them have iPads. None of them have cell phones. They have EMF fucking walls. Like, yeah, th- yeah, this shit is not fucking good. Whatever the fuck, like, Bluetooth. Give me the cord, dude. I'm trying to. You want to go back to cords? Give me cord. Give me the uh, aux. That's crazy. There were- you used to laugh at me. When Radio Shack was closing, and I went and I bought all their aux cords, you laughed at me. I did, but that, I still have those aux cords. But I, I was remembering how sick it was, like, to have Bluetooth. I just got Bluetooth. It's like this rules because the aux, the cassette aux, was some of the worst thing ever. That was created. bad. Yeah, sure, that was bad. But the if you turn it up and when your fucking throttle went up, it would start fucking ringing really loud. But the straight up, not the cassette, the straight up into the head unit into your iphone with the headphone jack was great then they got rid of the headphone jack well that's what i'm saying i think they want you on bluetooth 24 7 especially those airpods and shit like that so you think bluetooth is a fucking psyop i mean if you look like a it's like a thing that they know is bad if you look into bluetooth i can show you some pictures it relates to the market it relates to satan the sign and you put it sideways i thought it was just a viking rune negative suppose like i don't know dude i'm just so I'm just putting some shit out there. Maybe I can fucking figure out this week about it. But it's sh- it doesn't seem like if all these elites are getting saline injections and their kids aren't on the fucking iPads and shit like that, and they're getting fucking EMF walls, something to be said. And they're buying a bunch of shit in the desert. I forget where the fuck I just heard that. They're buying like fucking property out in like the desert. They're getting ready. For something. I don't know what the fuck it is, but something's up. And it, like I told you... All day, when was it? I think it was Sunday. I don't feel good. Yeah, you've been weird. You've been on a fucking weird tear. Obviously, it could, I mean, dude, could be depressed. The other thing I looked into, and I'll get butchered for this, but I don't care. Spiritual awakening, literally, sign for sign for sign for sign, every single sign of spiritual awakening is literally every symptom I fucking have. We talked about this. It's crazy. You saw an owl. That you saw an owl while I'm reading the Graham Hancock book about when you see owls, what this means. You're on the beginning of a spiritual path. Dude. We don't know where it's going to lead. I'm just starting to feel fucking normal again. I swear, there's still shit. I won't tell anyone that I was thinking about. I want to know what that is. It's not, it's not suicidal stuff or none of that. It's just real fucking weird thoughts. About people? I was sitting there. On Friday, looking at my phone, you texted me, and I was like, at one point, I was like, I'm going to blink, and I'm going to open my eyes, and someone's going to be like, I told you I was crazy. I'm just going to be somewhere completely different that is an earth. Someone's going to be like, I told you I was crazy. I was 100% ready for that to happen. Okay. That's how fucking gone I was. Okay. That That's just some of the shit, but I forget what the fuck I was talking about. Oh, yeah, spiritual awakening. So, yeah, you're on spiritual awakening. Yeah. I, I've, I'm I've, telling you, dude, some of the ancient shaman had... They had, Seeing the owl was fucking crazy. They had wives in that room. They have fairies that come. Yeah, that would be fucking. And that's epic, their fairy honestly. kin. That that's would suck. Bay. If you went, if, I'm I'm gonna pray for one tonight. Those dudes, like the shamans, were legitimately having sex in their dreams. Like fuck this regular pussy. They stopped having sex with their regular wife. And I they refused saved, the symptoms. They went on. Pussy. They went on SR for the spiritual realm. That might be why they're trying to get into people's fucking mental. The last thing they need is a dude who legitimately won't simp. Do you <laughs> know how deep. terrifying that would be? Bro, it's the only way out from if it breathes. Fairy sniz, good point. It's the only way out. Yeah, that like while, like while all that shit was going on, I was fucking losing my mind. And then you, I saw the owl, and then you hit me with the fucking owl. Like, like, oh, Spade doesn't get any pussy. I'd do it at night. Yeah, you don't know her. She's not from here. Bro. I don't remember my dreams. Yeah, maybe you'll start remembering and get some fucking fairy. That would be epic. If you fucking rode out the rest of your Is life. Is that a gonna... re- like an actual wife and a whole life? It would be awesome. You know. Hey, man, guy can dream, honestly. Whatever. It's a cool book. 
Yeah, but that that book is fucking awesome. I I put it down just because I was too fucking zim to do anything, but I have to get back on it once they started talking about owls and shit like that. That like, dude, I haven't seen an owl ever in my life, and one was just sitting right up on a branch. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, some of the Native Americans don't believe that they're owls; that they are actually entities that are hiding and disguising themselves as local spirit animals. Featherless owls literally look like aliens. Hilarious, so I'm with dude. them on that. They probably plucked feathers off one of those fuckers. Like I knew this thing wasn't a fucking bird. Exactly. <laughs> They're the most terrifying thing I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. But I'm always pumped when I get to show people that. Yeah, that was awesome. Anytime someone brings up owls, I'm like, you ever see one without feathers? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's a, it's the craziest thing I've ever se- probably seen this month in the month of June. That's the craziest thing I saw this month. <laughs> Hands down, nothing's coming close to it, and I'll fucking. I will close that door already, and June's not even over. But speaking of fucking insane shit, the the ch- the dude that just iced himself from Hillary Clinton's camp or it was the Clinton campaign. It was Bill Clinton's boy. His fucking shit was letting Epstein into the White House, so he was the dude who'd be like, "Yo, Epstein, you want to come in? Bring him in." Just like all those dudes used to do with uh, in Bush's fucking administration, right? This dude did that. Whatever. I, I want to say there may have been some information coming out. I don't fucking remember. I didn't look that far into it. Elwin Schroyer just kept talking about Vince Foster. I think Vince Foster died in a fucking duffel bag. He was chopped up into a bunch of pieces. I don't know. My The thing that I remember of Vince Foster was he was shot twice, and he was rolled up in a carpet, and he was found rolled up in a carpet like far away from his office. But he, the shooting happened in the office. He was saying he was chopped up in a duffel bag and they ro- they ruled it a I suicide mean, and he was 100 miles from his office. Maybe. I mean, I, obviously Owen's got more research. I'm yeah. going off of like old memes in my head. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, this dude hung himself and shot himself with a shotgun, which I feel like if you did that, you'd just fall out of the noose. I don't know. I'm I don't never, know why yeah. you go that mega on a suicide, <laughs> honestly. It's re- I, I've been, I've had, I've thought, some of this stuff out that's yeah. a lot that's that's extra that's pretty mega to do yeah. but the the weird shit is like that happened and the family media is like i don't want some right-wing conspiracy to come out about same this. thing with the seth rich yeah it's fucking like dude they probably that shit probably goes hillary down. clinton's been saying right-wing conspiracy about everything since she was since getting the first lady since bill clinton getting his dick sucked yeah she said that monica Lewinsky was yep. a right-wing conspiracy theory she's been saying it since they got in into office which is hilarious because like you know dude none of that is real and you see her, her body counts unreal you see her squad bro like i had a i saw a picture of like hillary uma abedin tony podesta john podesta and it's like dude these are fucking human eaters like they're the most rugged looking fucking people you've ever seen in your life. And it's like, if, if you ask me, do you think these people are capable of murder? Yes. They're, they're on another vibration. You like, it's so fucked up because obviously they're doing bad shit and they're just being the poorest sports. Like you sucked at politics. Stop killing everyone. I mean, they were very good at it and they, now they, they went to the heights of it to the point where they have a body count. And they've gotten that into a right wing conspiracy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's pretty much as good as you can. I mean, this get is Ozarks. This. Like it's they're a, putting up Ozarks numbers. They're so good at it that, you know, no one's investigated Pizzagate. True. <laughs> like John Podesta's got emails talking about handkerchiefs and fucking what's what's the magic that Should they I play do? dominoes on a uh, yeah. All that dumb shit. Yeah, the art show stuff. Oh, spear cooking. Spear cooking. Yeah. He's got spear cooking on there, and no one cares. They're fucking sick. They're Looney Tunes, dude. Dude, and also, speaking of that whole fucking squad, did you see Hunter Biden? He had more pictures come out. <laughs> Not oh, the no. fart. No, the fart's great, though. The fart is fucking insane. Yeah. I, I, one, I would like to know like how bad that smelled in that room after like a meth fart of having sex with a hooker, but whatever. Yeah. That's just me. <laughs> But he was fucking chilling there in the new pictures, and he just has a fucking handgun. And he's butt-ass naked with a handgun with his finger on the trigger. And they found a handgun that was, I don't know if it was illegal or not, but it was Hunter Biden's, had his prints on and everything. That was, he ditched it in a dumpster behind a fucking school. He's on a med like He's capped someone. Uh, I mean, he's probably shot at someone. I think he's murdered someone. Yeah, sure. I mean, I, I, think I wouldn't put it past him. If All this th- shit... All this shit is phone calls to the big guy. 
literally that's what i'm yeah. saying like i'm looking at this dude like he might like they're like oh he ditched a uh, a gun in a fucking in a dumpster it's like bro you killed someone i don't know man some of these guys that do drugs they trip out on good point. The drugs yeah, so it's the point where it's like they're on another reality yeah I, like, it, i've seen crackheads talk to stuff yeah true so i don't know what meth's like but if Probably. it's anything like the PCP and the crack guys that are around my house, I could totally see him just not shooting a gun and dropping it in a trash can, thinking this this is a gun disposal area. Yeah, for some <laughs> for some reason I can just ve- oh I'll, I'll tell you about that in a second. Speaking of gun control, for some reason I can just easily see him fucking killing someone and like in a freak out like oh my god oh my god called dad fucking lost yeah. his mind on meth because I mean dude. R.I.P. Joe, he's fucking dead now, died of COVID in Wilmington uh, prisons. But he fucking was watching Sons of Anarchy, lost his mind, thought his wife was in Sons his thought his wife there you killed go. his fucking... And if you're fucking with hookers and shit like that, yeah, yeah. you get spooked by a pimp or something like that, you're shoot. I mean, he killed... I'll put a body on Hunter Biden. It'll come out in the fucking... In the Hunter laptop. Especially if you're fucked up. Everything's on that laptop. There's kitty porn. He fucked his fucking niece. He's, there's definitely it's, Spurg messages to his dad. Like, I fucking killed someone fucking get, help. Understand. It's the laptop from hell. Imagine hell. Yeah, Rudy Giuliani. Smoking it's hell, cigars. Bro. Laughing in your face. <laughs> yeah, dude. The other shit I was going to tell you. I don't know if you saw it or not. Remember the Buffalo shooting that happened? Yeah. I'm I thought not. it was fake, dude. The yeah. security guard. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> the security guard who worked there my so you showed me a video that looked like someone got hit with an air gun mind you the security guard that worked there this kid came from 300 miles away bro imagine going 300 miles in any direction this way i'm kind of lazy yeah <laughs> 300 miles away shoots the security guard what does the security guard have a gun negator he is making a water fucking propelled vehicle Oh, I on saw YouTube, bro. That's real. Yeah, I saw all this. Yeah, that's fucking insane. They're always icing dudes who are making water whips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I saw that. I was like, holy shit. Yeah, I saw all that. The oil guys are fucking serious about that shit. That's the kind of shit that I've uh, I do imagine that parts sections of intelligence are guns for hire, and some of the bigger things, more efficient squads. Some of the lower tier things, you could call them up and you can order up a small assassination like that, and. They'll, you know, maybe they'll fucking go on 4chan, grab some memes real quick, make yeah. up a manifesto. Yeah, I mean, dude, they probably like, have those things sitting. I mean, it, probably it like, was what's so, his name? Yeah, no problem. They're like, an uh, 18 year old made this? Okay, we got this. Yeah, so, seriously. I mean, 18 year old? All right. <laughs> those things are probably just on deck, dude. Oh, yeah. But uh, fucking now, the other thing that really let me down because I had high hopes. Matthew McConaughey spoke at the White House like all about gun control and how you need to be 21 to have AR-15 after what happened in Uvalde or whatever. Yeah. Those people are now testifying already in court for gun control. Which is I've just seen, like, I feel bro, like I've, how are you? Sh- I couldn't I even feel go like out I, to see Shane on Saturday because I felt sad. How are you going to court a fucking a week and a half after this shit happened? I feel like I've seen this before. Literally. <laughs> I feel like I've seen this exact thing play out before. I thought too much, and I couldn't muster up the energy to go see Shane on Saturday. These people's kids just got blown apart, and somehow they're fucking testifying against gun control. Bro. I don't know what to tell you, man. It doesn't smell good. (laughs) That's all I got to say about that. It just, it really does not, like, that shit is confusing me. Yeah. I don't know. It's too weird. I've been around death enough to know that i don't know anyone like that and i can say that multiple times like i yes multiple times what i'm saying like i don't know anyone that's that strong yeah because i think you have to have more of a connection to like politics or you have to have like a more of a connection to like ideas or ideologies than the person that died yeah, I mean, dude, that's your kid too. That's what I'm saying. Like, you have to that's care. Insane. You have to care more about gun control than the person that died. Yes, easily. Because just, it's very hard for me to imagine a world where your kid dies and you're talking to anyone that week. Months, dude. I mean, maybe, but I'm saying I have. A, I've never met anybody yeah, like this. Maybe we're just pussies. You know, you're just sitting there with a deep freezer full of casseroles. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> and a wet pillow, dude. I mean, yeah, it is. 
That especially the bass. Oh my god. I've seen some dads put on some put on some masks, dude. Yeah. But I at the same time, they're not loud on TV. They're not getting activated. Yeah, they're just They're getting angry. Very angry. Fucking being weird. Yes. But not not like we need to fucking put age limits on gun control. Yeah, like yeah, we need to change like yeah. No, this shit is very confusing. For some odd reason, they threw that out there. We'll never know fucking why. All this shit's going on. We'll never know. They they fucking cover it up every fucking time they throw this shit out there. Something big happens and I miss it. Yeah, I mean, it was a school though. People were going there. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Start out step one. Did it have the internet? Yo, I plead. Were they the getting fifth. Were they getting Cisco food deliveries? I plead the fifth. <laughs> Obviously, Patreon put us back in the comedy. Please take us out of other. Put us back in the comedy. This is a comedy podcast. We're like joking around, having fun, losing weight. Yeah, I mean, dude, you're in a better mood after you step on that scale. Maybe you should get one. Nah, that I, I'm not. You I, could take that one for me. I'm pretty much as small as I'm going to get, I think. I think you'll be all right. Now it's time to rebuild. Yeah, I mean, dude, it's just time to up that protein intake. I mean, hey, honest to God, I attribute 15 pounds of not eating seed oils. My body probably just got rid of fucking useless seed oils that just sit in you your You think you just body. shed? You have to. I don't know. I don't know how your body's. You legitimately stuff. can't process that shit. Mm. My mom's been on this shit fucking forever. It's like you can't like the same with like all the government cheese. Like all that shit isn't food. It's all processed food. And it's just making all the people on fucking welfare fat as balls. Yeah, cheese is just like oil. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. But if you go like I went out one time, ran out of tre- cheese. I tried to go to a corner store and it's tropical. That's the fucking brand. And it says on there, this is not real cheese. Yeah, the toughest time the toughest time for food I had was when I was living off of like the drugstores and I was getting like the Stofers. Oh yeah. Dude. Remember when I was doing the the lasagna the double lasagnas? Worried about microplastics and taint sizes. We're heating up fucking fake macaroni and cheese and lasagna and I was, fucking plastic. I was I was running back to Stofers meat so lasagnas, good. you know. They're I, good. I mean Yeah, they're good. If shit, fucking dude. you all horror wants I, to claim God on fucking fake food, that's pretty good fake food. I do that shit does scare me because that is like ancient, that's terrifying. This is we're talking ancient Sumerian stuff at this point. You know what I mean? I mean at this point, the way people are getting <laughs> fucking axed and the way things are working out, there is a legitimate war. Like between, after the apocalypse, they're going to be carving like symbols into stones. Yeah. Of the genetic engineering and the Caduceus. You yeah. know what I mean? They're going to be like, watch out for two snakes. We're going to be back to square one. Literally. Yeah. I mean, dude. The way this shit's panning out right now and how fucking out of control all this shit is and how, like, there's a legitimate war against good and evil going on right now. People are getting taken out left and fucking right. Like, all these people who are against the vaccine are getting fucking killed for nothing. Lord knows what the fuck you've done to them by killing them. Fucking all the people of Haiti, Madagascar, completely destabilizing countries just because people didn't want to get their DNA modified. It seems pretty fucking important that these people get their fucking peons on this shit. Yeah, I don't know what their final. I don't know what their end game is. If those, like, I know that the twenty thirty stuff is scary because it's talking about taking away private property. Yeah, that's insane. And I think that their way of courting the West with all this stuff is to get them to volunteer for it, and that's like As what in, like, all. I'm a good fucking person. No, into like terms of services and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Like they'll you would you accept surveillance here, whereas like it's imposed on you in China. Yeah. But, like, in the West, like, they give you the choice. You don't have to fucking use those apps. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's going to be the same thing. Like, you don't have to go to the hospital. We don't have... It's a privilege to live here. Yeah. And this is what it's like to live here now. The, yeah, the, Hunger Games. The game has changed. But the players are the same. But the Hunger Games... I mean, Ike's going to look like a... God. He's going to look like a real soothsayer, dude. Tell if, you what. If it does come down to, like, Hunger Games society, like, because he was on that shit in, like, 2013. Yeah, and if those people are so fucking afraid to meet their maker and go to the other side, dude, I'll go. You fuckers are afraid of that, doing what you're doing? I'm doing me. I'll go meet them. I mean, they, that's might, that might be what they're searching for, dude, depopulation. They're saying, like, oh, you want to live forever. We want to reverse aging. We want to fuck with your DNAs. We'll make you live forever so you fucking pay us taxes and we have great lives. They do get a lot of funding. 
It's crazy, dude. Like if you just come up with if you if that's your line of work, you're getting funded forever. For nothing. Like you don't even have to bring shit up. Just you the fact that you're out it. there. Yeah, I'm on it. I'm one of the guys trying to make you live forever, bro. And we're getting fucked with for like fifty bucks extra a day. Yep. It's insane, bro. <laughs> I mean, we are gonna we are gonna be like full on peasant slaves soon. Hey man. And then the way that they talk about it, it's like you're gonna like it. That whole thing of like you'll own nothing and you'll like it. Like that's they're starting this now. They're starting like the mind control of that now. Yeah, definitely. They're just gonna be like, Yeah, dude, it's cool. Like, dude, that was a hassle. You yeah. you're oh, not shit's gay as fuck. You're not fit to control land. Like we're in an environmental crisis. You can't have land. I'm, and dude, the way people fucking responded with all the COVID shit, I can see most, like most, the only problem is the people who aren't going along with it are the biggest problem. Yeah, but they are going to be like, they don't care. They know, the, I think that the elites know that this is fake. They're doing this for population control. Oh yeah. So they don't care. Like if you want to go live out in the middle of fucking nowhere, as long as you you're not, have your head on a swivel, bro. you're not going to be on the internet. You're not going to be doing anything cool. Scope will work. It's gonna just gonna. I think that's what it's gonna be. Is it gonna be like two two different civilizations? Like they're gonna have you know? to have a a bulletproof dome if they do this. What? What do you mean? You're gonna have fucking Chris Kyle's picking these boys off, dude. I don't think you understand what I'm talking about. No, I, no I, Chris Kyle's are coming out to get you. They don't care. No, no, no. I'm saying if they do this and some break off civilization and start enslaving all these fucking liberals, dude, and guys like us are out in the fucking woods. Eventually, we're going to have to do what's right. We're going to have to answer the fucking call. And you're going to have to start picking off elites with snipers. All the ones that are 21 and over. Yes. Because of Uvalde. Because of Uvalde, <laughs> yes, obviously. Thoughts and bears. Yeah. And uh, that'll do it for today. Oh, you're out of gas? Huh? Out of gas. Out of gas. Uh, you know. <laughs> that was abrupt. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. You want to say anything? I mean, if you want to hit pause, we can talk some more. Huh? You can pause it. Oh, okay. If you're running out, if you hit a wall or whatever. How long is that?